Nicole Hetty, and today I'm going to show you how to create this really cool background um, with some basic household items. For this tie-dye technique, um, it's actually um, a bit thin and messy, kind of like going back to kindergarten. I've taken a cookie sheet, you could use any kind of tr flat tray, and I've just spread some shaving cream on there. You want to use shaving cream, not shaving gel. And I'm using Re-Inkers, Hawaiian Shores and New Leaf. You could use food coloring instead if you like, but I like the variety of color available with Re-Inkers better. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add little drops of the Re-Inker around. I started with Hawaiian Shores. And I'm going to go in with the new leaf, add that here and there. And then I'm going to take the end of a paintbrush, and really you could use a pencil or whatever, and I'm just going to start kind of mixing the reinkers in a circular pattern. I'm going to do this in a couple different spots here. And just have fun with it. I mean, this is this is getting back to your crafting roots for sure. Just create little swirls. And the cool thing about this is the results are never going to come out the same twice. Everybody will get a different effect depending on how they choose to mix the colors and how much color they put on with the reinkers and how they swirl it together. It's kind of fun. So after I did the swirls, I wanted to have this wanted this to be kind of a tie-dye effect. So I went in to the center of each of the circles and just pulled out the color and made little lines like this. You could do all kinds of different things with this technique. I mean, you could do, you know, chevron type patterns. There's all sorts of things you could do. But I'm going for this root. Okay. So I've got that done. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of white cardstock that I've already uh, measured to size. I'm going to flatten it like this. You want to make sure that you get the whole paper down into the shaving cream, otherwise you're going to end up with white spaces. You won't pick up all the color. And then after you do that, you want to pick up paper from the shaving cream like this. I'm going to move this tray out of the way, and I've got some scrap paper here. I'm going to lay this down, and I've got another piece of scratch paper, and I'm just going to use the scratch paper to scrape off the shaving cream like this. And what I end up with is like this. And I mean, this won't smudge or anything. It's permanently on the paper. You just want, it's a little bit damp from the shaving cream, so you just want to um, either heat it with a heat gun to, to dry the paper out, or um, you can lay it under a book for a little bit to dry flat. I'm going to put this aside and let it dry and then show you how to complete the project. Now that my background has dried a bit, I'm going to go ahead and finish up this project. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some um, fresh snow grow grain ribbon, a little strip of it. I'm going to trim one end into a V, and then I'm going to just cut a little strip of it off here. I'm going to decide which way I would like this to go, and I think I'm going to have it go this way. And I'm just going to add a little strip of adhesive right down the middle, and adhere this white ribbon. Actually, I want that to go down just a little bit farther. I hear that in place, and then I want to fold this around and over the back. I 
then have two die cuts I'm going to use to embellish this with. I cut this shape from the Sending You die collection and I've already heat embossed a cinnamon from half and half using um, white embossing powder on there. And I've also die cut a butterfly from the Beautiful Butterflies collection and I'm actually going to stamp this with um, one of the flourishes from Fancy Flourishes using New Leaf Ink and I'm going to put one swirl this way and I'm actually going to add a second one from the top here like this just to add a little bit of a fancy detail to the butterfly. I've got some foam tape that I'm going to add to the back of this sentiment block. Like that. I have an Aquamist card base and I'm going to go ahead and adhere this background to the front of the card. I'm going to adhere this sentiment block in place about an inch from the top. And I'm going to follow that up with the butterfly. I'm going to be adding button and a twine to it. But first what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it in half. Like this. And I'm just going to take a bit of score tape. 1 8 inch score tape. Down the center of the butterfly. And I'm going to go ahead and adhere that right over here. And I'm going to finish it off with a Hawaiian Shores button that I'm threading with some twine. And I'm going to add a bit of score tape to the back of this. Like so. I'm going to add that in the middle of the butterfly. And just kind of snip off the ends a bit here. And there is my completed card. I hope you um, had fun with this technique and that you're going to give it a try yourself. Uh, it kind of gets you back to your kindergarten rates with getting dirty with supplies like this. But um, I hope to see your take on it and thanks for joining me today. Mm -hmm.